Now we're going to utilize our knowledge of a degree and what an angle is to find the measure of this angle x, which was the angle that we created in the previous video. In order to measure an angle, the handiest tool is a protractor. I downloaded this protractor online and cut it out just to enlarge it because my protractor was a little too small to use on the video. But we're going to use this to understand and learn how to measure an angle. So the first step in measuring an angle is to put the center tick mark on your end point and line up this bottom horizontal line usually marked by a zero on one of the rays. So let's line it up on X, Y. So this side X, Y is where we have lined our protractor up. Now you count around the protractor until you reach your next ray or your next side. So starting at the vertex X, you can see my tick mark is lined up and that's my center tick mark. The black horizontal line follows my ray X, Y, and I'm going to count up until I reach my next ray, which you can see crosses my protractor at this point. So counting up, we're not going to start at 180. We're going to start at zero. So it goes to 10, then 20, and it falls between 20 and 30. So we're going to extend up and count the tick marks. So this actually falls on the second tick mark past 20. So 21, 22. Because the tick marks on my protractor are broken up into tens. So this is 20 and then 21, 22. So the measure of angle X would be 22 degrees. And you can see on this protractor it looks like half of a circle does. So remember when we broke up a circle into 360 individual steps or individual tick marks one quarter of the circle was 90 and half of the circle was 180 out of 360 which represented 180 degrees. So our vertex is point B and out of B extends one ray BC, so our side is BC, and our other side is the other ray, BA. The angle we're trying to measure is this angle, B, otherwise known as angle ABC, or angle CBA. So again, with the protractor, we're going to set it up to where the vertex falls on this tick mark and we're going to line up one ray with the zero degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and set it on vertex B and I'm going to line up the black horizontal line representing zero on my side BA. So now I'm going to go around starting from the left side of my protractor until I reach my side BC. So holding it steady, we're going to start at zero and remember we're counting up, not at 180, we're starting at zero. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, so on, all the way past 90 and it lands exactly on 
140. So the measure of the angle ABC is equal to 140 degrees. Let's go over one more example. Looking at this next example, you can see I have two rays branching out from point G. So our vertex is G. We have side GJ, which is the ray GJ, and we have side GF, which is the ray G to F. So the angle we're looking to measure is this angle G. So again, lining our protractor up on one ray, let's do it on the ray G to J. The center tick mark, or the center point, falls on G, which is our vertex, and we line up our horizontal line that represents zero with the red line. And now we're going to go around until we reach F. And if you look at this, starting at zero, 10, 20, 30, so on, to 90, and continuing around all the way to 180. So the angle of G is 180 degrees. And this is a special case because ray G and J and ray G and F are opposite rays, meaning that they, the points fall on the same line, they're all collinear, but G to J goes the opposite way of G to F. So they are known as opposite rays. And opposite rays always have a measurement of 180 degrees. So ray GF and ray GJ are opposite rays.